take it how it resonates for you if it does. And this reading might resonate for you even if you're not a um, sun, rising, moon, or even Venus, Virgo, as we all have multiple signs throughout our lives. So that's why I always encourage everyone, if you haven't already, to get your free birth chart online, even if you don't have your exact birth time, to find out what your other placements are and read those other horoscopes as well. And feel free to check out the other Zodiac uh, videos here on my channel. Alright, also wanted to say that if you are new, welcome, and of course if you're coming back, welcome back as well. Um, we're going to start with a couple quick astrology notes first, and then we will get into your tarot reading here, Virgo. I will also be providing a timestamp for those of you who have watched some of the other videos in this series and already know the astrology notes, I want to just get straight to the tarot reading. Alright, so Virgo. August 8th, since we are officially um, in Leo season during this time, we have a new moon in Leo, so sometimes people like to perform their manifestations and magic during a new moon, but of course you can do it at any time as the intention is the way to the most as well and at the very end we have our three uh, oracle cards that we do okay so let's call out your cards here Virgo so you have the queen of sacred circles also known as the queen of pentacles in the reverse position ace of swords upright two of swords in the reverse the high priestess upright the chariot upright and the eight of sacred circles also known as the eight of Um, 
also be feeling not all the way um, nurturing in some aspects as well. I'm going to show you the card here. Okay, this is the Queen of Sacred Circles in the reverse position. All right. And so normally in this card, you see this grandmother figure, okay, and she's um, looking and taking care of this baby here lying down, right? But it's in the reverse position here for you, Virgo. So again, the moon is very small in the background. You could be um, not having all the information about something, a little bit clouded by um, something, okay? Um, trying to get out of illusions, not feeling all the way in your power, or not feeling super abundant or nurturing in some way here. Um, and also just not feeling a lot of support around you as well. second card here, Virgo, is the Ace of Swords in the upright position. This is a beautiful energy. It talks about mental clarity, cutting through any illusions or bullshit here with the sword in the clouds in the background, all right? So this is a very abundant energy, accepting gifts from the universe and moving forward. And this is your second card, so this will be happening for some of you guys for uh, the middle of that first week of August here. And 
So remember, we're going to talk about these two cards um, in particularly uh, relation to the two of swords in the reverse position, okay? You can see that here. All right. So this is saying in the recent past here, Virgo, somebody could have um, been having a harder time than normal manifesting something. Possibly your confidence was down in some way. You didn't feel like you had all the tools that you needed to manifest something um, in your reality, okay, whatever you want to bring into your life or get rid of, etc., okay, but it doesn't stay for long because then you possibly or the other person uses as catalyst and fuel to then get in the energy here of the chariot upright, so for momentum, positive energy, um, you know, also coming together with the, the masculine and feminine qualities that we all have inside of us in a very equal way, okay, and also balancing the emotions right as he's charging through the water here all right Virgo so your fourth card here is the high priestess in the upright position this is also a very beautiful intuitive um, abundant energy moving forward here and since it's following the two of swords in the reverse position whoever was starting to open their heart chakra and make more decisions with their heart and their intellect this kind of naturally makes sense that it would follow and this could be more in um, the second week of August energy but this is really beautiful again creative energy feminine energy and that's not to say that masculines aren't creative right it's just a metaphor a representation how it is in the card here but really beautiful here Virgo now your fifth card is actually a repeating card for you okay so you have the chariot again in the upright position this is really beautiful this could be saying for some of you guys that energy that you started in the recent past where you were balancing your emotions moving forward bringing together the masculine and feminine energies within yourself to manifest then you have it here again more towards the middle of the second week of august so really beautiful as well here for you. Um, being too much stuck up in your head, okay, or even lower vibrational energies, 
or exhaustion or even depression, okay? You started to let that go in the past. You started to focus more on the present moment and not be um, so competitive with yourself and with others. All right, so when this is coming in and it's confirming the chariot upright and the ace of swords upright. Again, this is showing why you are able to now be in this very abundant energy, this um, mental clarity here with the ace of swords upright and the chariot moving towards positive momentum energy, manifesting your goals, all of those things. Okay. And the third card here is the king of swords in the reverse position. So this is a little bit of future and past energy, okay? So it could be just a little bit of a warning here to you, for some of you guys, right? To not go backwards, to not lose that mental clarity, to not um, bring on feelings that you're not supported because you are. Okay, so we all are divinely guided. There's divine timing and we're all divinely you know, there are times where we don't feel like that, but it doesn't mean that we're not. Even if our current support system isn't giving us what we need, there are always spirits, ancestors, guardian angels, you know, that have our back. So this is just a bit of a warning to not go backwards here, Virgo. Now, when this King of Swords in the reverse position is confirming the Two of Swords in the reverse, and the eight of sacred circles upright, okay? This is basically saying again, that uh, if I do lose any uh, little bit of mental clarity or feeling like I have support around me, if I access my heart chakra again, then I will um, make those feelings go away and make them more positive and um, more in balance, right? With working with my intellect and my heart chakra at the same time, okay? Now also when the king of swords in reverse is coming in here and confirming the eight of sacred circles upright. This is basically saying again that the more I focus on my craft, building um, a skill, okay, leveling up, slowly stacking my abundance, slowly um, staying in that positive energy and moving forward again, being open to learning new things as a student like energy, the more that you can do that, you can stay uh, with that mental clarity and also have your heart chakra open. Virgo. With all that being said, now let's get into your oracle cards, okay? So it's a little bit of some lighter energy, all right? And it looks certainly fun to have, you know, for this time period that we're talking about as well. <laughs> so your first oracle card is from the Rebecca Campbell deck here, Virgo, and it's the void, okay? It says, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic bloom, okay? Yes, my car agrees. <laughs> So just one second here. Alright, so what this uh, boy card is saying to you here, Virgo, it says how you're being called to surrender to the unknown mystery of your life. Okay? So when it says embrace winter, that could be embrace the high priestess, remember, embrace your uh, embrace your intuition go within, right, winter time is, uh, for some people, depending on where you live, the time where you slow down and go within more, okay, not only outside physically, if it's cold, you go within, but you also go within mentally here, but really nice message and beautiful energy, all right. Your second oracle message here, this is your love message, whether you're watching for romantic love or platonic love with friends or family or even self-love is let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right. <laughs> so that could be a particular message for some of you guys during this time, right, or any time really to let go of um, just always wanting to be in control, let things flow a little bit more naturally, okay? Um, so you can take that again for romantic love, platonic love with friends or family, or even self-love. And then your last oracle message here, Virgo, it's really cute, it's a panda, okay? 
it says create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or a place of work all right so if you want to look more into uh, working with panda magic you can always uh, you know google or look up um, the animal spirit animal totem significance of a panda okay the Native American shamanic symbolism of a panda and see how you can incorporate some of that into this time period or even beyond okay so those are your messages here Virgo I also wanted to say um, thank you guys so much for your support for your likes for your shares for your subscriptions just for your energy in general I really appreciate it okay um, and if you like this video and you want to subscribe it is free all you have to do is click on the bell icon in the bottom right and make sure that it's blue and it's active okay and it'll just notify you when I put out new videos and again if you want to see one photo of all the cards here that I for you here today uh, you can just click in the description box below and follow the instructions there all right so other than that um, thank you guys so much and always remember that <clears throat> excuse me this message is timeless as well so for some of you guys it could take six months to manifest okay in the future or it could be again six months in the past a year in the past or a year in the future so anyway always take it how it resonates for you and I'll see you guys later all right bye